All right, what is up everybody? As always, thanks for stopping by to check out another Moto John video. Today we are running through my Moto Vlogging helmet and camera setup that I use for all my videos. So we're gonna run through the camera layout, the helmet, the setup, all that good stuff. So we're gonna run the intro and let's get to it. Alright guys, so like I said, we're going to run through this setup here real quick that I use for all of my videos. Now like I said in the title, I called this the no fail setup because I have actually never had any issues or problem with this setup. I've never lost audio and I've never lost video. Now that might just be me being lucky <laughs> with the way that I've set this up. I have no idea, but I have not once ever lost video or audio using this layout and this setup I know a lot of time uh, it, it's a big topic or conversation about people video cutting out or audio not clear and all this or that but luckily for about the eight months or so that I've been using this setup I have never once had any issue with lost audio or video which I'm pretty happy about it and makes it pretty easy <laughs> so first we're gonna run through this setup and all the items that you're gonna need for this particular setup so I use the Biltwell lane splitter right here currently have the visor off because I'm cleaning it so we got the lane splitter we got the GoPro Hero 8 we've got the mounting arm right here that we're going to use to attach the camera to the helmet and this right here is the GoPro mic adapter I think they call this the dongle or something like that not exactly sure mic adapter so there's that and then we've got the purple panda lavalier mic that we're going to run through the helmet. I'm gonna give you some tips on how I set this up with my particular setup with the lane splitter. The first thing I did when I set this up was I kind of decided how I was gonna run the mic through the helmet. And the lane splitter is really great for setting this up because what you can do is you can kind of peel back some of these pieces. And this right here is gonna create a nice pocket for some of those wires to sit in. And then in here, we're going to snap out some cheek pads that we're going to be able to slip that mic right into. So this is the Purple Panda mic setup that I got. I think a lot of people use this. Like I said, I've had great, perfect luck with this. Um, it's got a lot of different detachments and options in there. It did come with a windsock in there. I will say that I, I lost the windsock that came with this. It was doing really good for me. Um, and I have added a new windsock to the mic that I actually have not tested out yet. I hope it still gives me the same quality as the first one. So this is the Purple Panda Lavalier mic from Amazon. I think it was like $39 or so. I'm gonna link a lot of this stuff as I go up, as I go through it. I'll link some of this down here in the description of the video so you guys can take a look at some of that. So that's the mic and let's show you how I kinda set this up here with the lane splitter. So what I did first was I wanna have the plug sticking out a little bit and then I wanna have the mic itself with the windsock coming up through here. So what I did is if we can make sure we get close enough here, I'm gonna run this right through the cheek pad of the lane splitter and I'm gonna put it right in between these two buttons here that snap it together. So we're gonna go there, you're gonna hear it snap and there's the second one that just snapped in. So now, like I said before, the lane splitter is gonna create this nice little piece here, this nice little section that these wires can just sit right into. So we've got the mic part ran up there through the lane splitter. Like I said, you heard those two buttons snap. And now what we're gonna do is we're going to cover this up and hide this right into this little pocket here that the lane splitter is going to create for us. So there we just hid those wires and keep them tucked in there. And now the audio jack, look at that, it's hanging right out there for us to plug in when we're ready to set up. And when I'm not using it, just pull this down, tuck it up in there, boom, it's hidden. You don't even know it's there when I don't feel like recording. So that's one of the one things that I really like about the Biltwell Lane Splitter and how you can use it for moto vlogging. 
but let me pull this back out and then we're gonna tuck these back in so we've got our jack hanging out there one thing also to notice with the audio jack you're gonna get a couple different extensions with the purple panda when you go to use this with a GoPro, make sure you use, I believe this is the TRS type of jack. You see it's only got two black little lines there. I had initially started out with one that comes with it that has three, but from some research online, I realized that you have to use this one that is two black lines. I believe it's a TRS jack, and that's what's gonna get you that audio. So next, we're gonna take a look at how this mic is gonna sit right in here so we've got the windsock on here take a look and see that in there i'm just going to press this up against into the cheek pad and right there it's just sitting right in that cheek pad you can kind of see the distance that it is from where i'm going my head's going to be where i'm going to be speaking and it's got a little space as well from the front of kind of that chin guard there. One thing about the lane splitter is you've got these vents. Some people choose to close those up. I leave them open because I like a little bit of that wind and pipe noise coming through there. I like being able to kind of have a little bit more of that authentic sound to it. Some people's audio is so good. Sometimes I notice that all you can hear is their voice, which is cool, it's good. I mean, you want good audio, but in my opinion, for my videos, I like to have my voice coming through and then a little bit of wind and pipe noise too. And this give, really gives me kind of a perfect mix of those two things. I feel like my voice always comes through pretty good. Hope you guys can kind of see that in there. See where that windsock is sitting. That's where the mic sits all the time. So now we're gonna hook up the camera. So I use this Axe Power uh, mounting system. It came with these mounts right here that you see on the side of the lane splitter. And then it came with all these little arm extensions and some screws for attachments as well. Um, another great product, this might have been 12, 15 bucks on Amazon again. I will link it down there in the description. All right, so the next thing you're gonna have to do, we've got our wire sticking out. You're gonna have to figure out where you wanna mount your camera. So with a lane splitter, obviously you can't quite get it right in front. So with the mounting arm, I was able to maneuver that and use the different pieces to where it's gonna slide into the mount. You're gonna have your 3M sticky tape on the back of the mounting piece there you can see that it sticks right nice and stable i've never had any problem again it's super tight it's never fallen off it's never come loose or anything like that so we're going to take this mounting arm we're going to stick it right through here we're going to have it out first stick it right in there it's going to snap and then i'm going to start to push it in just a little bit once i get ready to put the camera on there so next, we've got the camera. I've got the GoPro Hero 8 again. I mean, you're gonna be able to kind of do this setup with probably any GoPro, really. One thing I will say about the GoPro Hero 8 is you have your little mounting clips right here. I believe older versions, you might need the bracket so that you can attach it. Um, so we're gonna slide this back right here, and we're just gonna go ahead, slide that in there. We're gonna stick our screw through here once we get it all lined up. Then we're gonna screw it in. I leave it a little loose at first because what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna fold this over and then I tilt it back just a little bit. I keep it in nice and tight to the helmet and then lock it in. So some things that you wanna double check for here is you wanna have a little bit of an angle to the side so you're getting a big wide view as you're riding. And then also check to see if you're kind of centered Right here, I always give a look right there, make sure it's kind of centered. Now it is off to the side, obviously, as you can see, but with the wide view, I think that pretty much takes care of all that. You're off to the side, but that wide view, um, sometimes I'm missing a little bit of like my left hand or handlebar, maybe, but not often. So you can get this arm, it's gonna come out. The wide view is pretty much gonna look like it's perfectly centered, even though it's hanging off to the side just a little bit. So finally, we've got our mic adapter here that we are going to plug into the side. This is all mounted on the right side of my helmet. I've got a piece of Velcro here, the other side on the helmet over here. We're gonna stick that nice and tight right there. And then last piece, boom. 
just plug it in and you're ready to go. Turn your GoPro on. As you can see, the GoPro is in super tight and stable to the helmet. Um, I've never had any problems with it shaking around or moving around or anything like that once I got these angles of the arm set up perfectly. I know sometimes I see people with setups that are kind of like big and bulky and hanging out all the way over here and wires and stuff. I mean, for me, I wanted something clean and simple that fit with the Hero 8 and the lane splitter. And I think this accomplished it for me. This was kind of exactly what I was looking for in my setup. So again, this is, in my opinion, a super clean and nice setup. Again, I have never had any issues with this. Like I said, I've never had lost audio. I've never had lost video with this. So just another tip that I use when I'm recording. I don't know if a lot of people use this or not, but drop it down there in the comments if you use some of these voice commands. I like to use them because it lets me know that it's actually recording and picking up the audio because if I say GoPro start recording it just started and that lets me know that it's hearing me and the audio is gonna come through perfectly from the mic there and then I can say GoPro stop recording boom just like that I know that I got my audio because if it didn't turn on or off when I said that then I know something's not right and I can fix it from there so that's just one of the little tips and tricks I use. I don't know if other people use that. I have heard people say that they like to use them. Some people don't like to use them, but let me know, you guys use the voice commands with the GoPro or not? Also, let me know what your setup is down there. Like I said, let me know what you think of this setup. Does anyone have a similar setup to this and how's it working for you? I know some people use that GoPro media mod. I think that like in cases around the, uh, the camera. I'm not too familiar with it because like I said, I use this method right here. Um, so for example, when I'm done, I can say GoPro turn off, camera's turning off. Maybe I don't want to record the rest of the ride. I'm just going to unplug real quick here. We got that. We're going to unscrew the camera, take it off, pinch the little arm out right here. tuck my wires back up underneath so they're not hanging out and boom we're good to go just like that I can dismantle the setup and ride without the camera so I can get my videos in get some recording in and then once I stop somewhere if I want to pop it off or if I want to keep recording I can leave it on but like I said if I want to pop it off boom undo it like that throw all this stuff in my bag and just kind of enjoy the rest of the ride without talking or recording so that's gonna wrap it up. A quick look at how I have my camera set up. I know there's tons of different ways to set these things up out there. Drop it down in the comments. Let me know what your setup is. Let me know if you like this. If you have any questions about this exact setup, feel free to let me know. I will happily address some of those. Um, but other than that, everybody ride safe out there. It's the Moto John. We'll see you all down the road. Peace.